Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. It is Fabric Friday and we're having a very chill Fabric Friday this week. The listing that I have prepared for you guys is a small one. I was so busy from last week's listing and with other fabric that sold that I just didn't have time to prepare for this Friday. I don't want to list anything unless I have it cut and ready because I really don't like to cut after the fact. So we have just one listing. It's small, so that's good for those of you who don't want a lot of fabric and just want to try something. And I also do have 16 lots, so that's good too. Those of you who want more can order multiple lots. You save on shipping by doing that too. Before I show you this, I want to tell you something new that I'm trying. I have a new Facebook group for the Peanut Gallery. What I will be doing right now is this video is going to go up on YouTube, but it will be unlisted. Those in the Peanut Gallery group will get the link to that video, and I'm going to let them have it just to themselves for at least an hour before I let everyone else know that the fabric is on eBay so they have a better chance of grabbing the fabric. If you want to be told about the fabric listings early, you can go and join the Peanut Gallery. The link is in the description box down below. It's always there now on all my new videos. Please go find it. Or you can just go to Facebook and look for Peanut Gallery, and it's a group. I just thought those who joined the group deserve first chance at the fabric. All right, the fabric is strips like this. They are approximately two and a half inches wide by nine inches tall. Now, some of them are a little taller. Some of them could vary in the width because the width is determined by how wide the fabric actually was because I would fold and cut, fold and cut, fold and cut. So I end up with 16 strips. So it can go down a little bit to maybe like two and a quarter, but, but I would say the majority of them are two and a half. So that's what you get. 32 of these, 32 different prints. I will say that most of these prints are brand new that I never had before. I did shop at Marden's two days ago and I picked up some remnants. In the remnants I bought, I think I picked up like 24 or something. There were a couple that are fabrics that I had previously. So I would say out of this lot of 32, I would say 20 have never been seen on my listings yet. And the others would be repeats. But there's 32 different ones in this particular lot. Like I know you've seen this one before. But there's a lot of nice new ones. I have a picture showing all 32 prints and then I have some close-ups so you can see the prints better. This is all I have this week. I do have other things to prepare, but again, I did not want to get ahead of myself. I need a chill weekend after last weekend. Oh my goodness, I spent, I mean, it doesn't look like it. When you see the amount of fabric for the crumb quilt things, it doesn't look like I spent eight days cutting, but I did. Of course not all day for eight days, but for eight days I'd have to set up, do whatever cutting I felt like doing for that day, put everything away so I could do my other things. It was just a long process. This was not as bad, but this is only 32 pieces per person as opposed to 300. So <laughs> it's a big difference there. Oh, so here's what else you need to know. I am putting this back up for global shipping, I've had several, more than several, quite a few of you, especially from Canada and the UK, and those are always in the top three, US, UK, Canada, for seeing my videos. You guys would like me to ship out to you. The only way I will do it is through eBay. I won't be doing it on any fabric on my website because I don't like dealing with mail, period. I just don't. And the extra steps I have to take for doing custom forms and things like that, I just, I'm just not willing to do that. I can't. It makes me sick. You don't want me to be sick now, do you? You don't. eBay has a global shipping program. I have no problem with that because I just send to them like I am sending to someone in the United States because they're in the United States. They send it to you. I have all kinds of stuff that I'm supposed to fill in on eBay. I generally don't want to do that for packages that are weird, 
This is not a weird package. It's going to be packaged in an envelope. So I'm going to go ahead and offer this to the global shipping. I'm going to trust that they know what they're doing. I have no clue what it's going to cost you for shipping. I just put the information, the size package, the weight of the package, and they take it from there. So if it's outrageous, it's not my fault. I can't help it. I'm just doing the best that I can. I'm at least putting the offer back out there for this particular lot. I might not do it for everything because, again, I don't want to have to be measuring and weighing and doing all that kind of stuff. Sorry, I just can't do it. I have to keep this as pleasant of an experience for me or I'm just not going to want to do it. I want to do this and I want to enjoy it and I'm going to eliminate things that I don't enjoy. And I think you guys understand that. So that's the other thing I wanted to mention. Did I say this equals a half a yard of fabric? If you were to piece it all together, it's a half a yard. Obviously, 100% cotton. You guys know that. I do like just fold and then I cut on the fold and I fold again. I cut on the fold with scissors so it can be jaggered a little bit. And again, it's pretty good. I think I do a pretty good job considering that it's me doing it. <laughs> Everything is cut and ready to go, so I will have all packages ready for the mail for Monday's pickup. Oh, there's a holiday Monday in the pesky USA. Um, it'll go out on Tuesday. I could possibly get some ready tonight to go out tomorrow. I don't know. I think that's pretty much all I need to tell you. You will see the pictures and other details in the description of the listing. So just mosey on over and check that out. Do join the Peanut Gallery group. I will have the link for eBay and the Peanut Gallery group in the description and in the comments. And on the end screen, I do have two new things on my blog fabric section for fabric addicts. I will have a little thing there saying visit Darlene's blog. I will have it linked to the fabric section. What do I have? What do I have? I have some fabric. I have, um, oh, another vest panel. And I do want to say to you guys, those of you who do quilting or projects, you don't have to make the vest out of these vest panels. The images are really nice. This one is called Tuxedo Junction and it's penguins, like a Christmas print, holiday print at least, or winter print, I guess. I don't know. I don't remember if it has like Christmas sayings on it or not. You'll have to go look at it. And you can, you know, cut those things and put them in quilts or on tote bags or do whatever you want with it. Don't think because it's a vest pattern that you have to make a vest. Although you are more than welcome to go ahead and make the vest. They give it to you in sizes small to extra large for this particular one. So I'll have a link to that. Go check out that. I have other things on there too. And I guess that's it for now. I will be back with more soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!